it's a hot day I'm hanging in the sunshine You should hit me with a splash gun So I cool down Won't you come on over We can party till the sun's down Baby, let me buy you a drink While we're dancing to blink I could go for some Queen B2 Bass is going boom That's one option, okay? I want to give you guys more options on, on, on what to do. You know, if you find yourself here, you know, you did a good job getting to the back, but now the guy's avoiding the seat belt, that's the best grip to, you know, control the back, follow the back, and eventually get the submission. But let's say he's good defending the back, okay? So I'm not able to get the seat belt. So that's why we're using this grip here. So I need to do a good job keeping him down, okay? If I, let's say I'm right here controlling him, and he opens up space, then I can switch to seat belt, okay? You know, sometimes I'm training, I'm fighting against people, like, I have a hard time to get sit down. I get to the back and they're doing a really good job because that's the right thing to do. Like, if you're, the, if you're in this situation, you should understand how to stop the sit belt because once a guy gets a sit belt, you're in trouble. Okay, so if he's doing the right thing, if he's doing a good job, he is avoiding the sit belt. Okay, so I told you guys how, how to use the hook. So you get the hook here, you put the pressure on the knee, bring the guy sideways. Sit belt, take the back, okay? Now, let's see something else, okay, a different option, okay? So now, what you can do, like, I, I have a hard time to just go here and get the hook in. Especially if you have long legs, it's just not easy to do. Because, like, you have to pull your leg here and slide the hook. So I want to show you guys a few different options, like, what you can do here to open up more space and make it easier to take the back, okay? So. When I see like there's not much space here, what I like to do, I go here, I move my foot closer to his body, okay? I pimp on my leg and I place my knee through this gap. Not only really trying to take the back now. First, just trying to open up space. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk, like I'm gonna shuffle this way, using my knee to push his elbow up to this position here, okay? Why, because what's the problem here? His using his elbow to close his space. Now, if I open up space, then it will be much easier to take the back, okay? So instead of fighting, you know, to get the hook in when I don't have space, I'm gonna open up some space and then take the back, okay? So I have the lapel, I have the, this grip here, four fingers in, keeping him down. I place my knee right there. Look how I use my knee to push his arm, you see? Now, a very good option here is to just drop the right hip because now he can't come back. Let's go more than this. So why, why I shift my hips and, and I kind of like drop here? Because now he can't come back. If I go here, I use my knee, look, I use my knee, open up some space, then I come back here and try to take the back. He's gonna tuck his elbow in. And um, okay, now he knows what I wanna do, it'll be harder to do again. Okay, so it doesn't make sense. I need to do it and make sure he doesn't come back. So I go here, look, I use the knee, Shuffle to the side, open up space, and then I drop my hip right here. So you see his elbow is stuck in a, in a weird position for him. So, you know, he's uncomfortable. I'm putting pressure on his shoulder. He, he knows there's a lot of space there and he can't come back. And then from here, I have more space to take back. Now I can slide my hood. I can slide the knee, okay? It will be easier. I can step on his leg, on his leg to make him fall. I can use the hook to pull him and then take his back, okay? so. There's a lot of different things you can do from here. What I want to show you guys is how to open up space so you can take the back and make sure you don't lose the position. Because you don't want to st you don't want to stay here for too long. You know what I mean? Like you don't you're controlling the guy here. You know you you have him in a good position, but you have yourself you're in a good position. Like the guy's in a bad position, but you don't want to stay here. Like you want to get your hooks in, or you want to you want to lock a submission. So like. If, I, if I'm here, I get the grip to so keep him down, and then as fast as possible, I use the knee, push his elbow up, drop my hip. Okay. Now I could step over his leg, twist his knee, force him to come towards me and take his back. Okay. Or just using my knee here, I can use, uh, you see the hook right here? 
Can you guys see my right foot there? Yeah? I can push, look. He's gonna land on top of my leg, right? Because he's on top of my knee, I can use my knee to scoop him up to the other side. And I can use the grip, you see the grip here? I can slide more to the side and use my knuckles to push him there. Right? I'm pushing, he's gonna fall right here. Look. See the hook? Then I can take his back. So now, you go here, you place the knee, pretty much uh, under the armpit, like there's a little, even when he's trying to close the gap, like, you know, sometimes it'll be a little harder, of course, but you just need to keep putting the knee there. You're gonna find a way to open up some space. So like sometimes, you, you know, there's not much space, but you put the knee there, you kind of like move the guy, force the knee. Once the knee is in, then you just shuffle, you're gonna open up space. It's hard for him to fight back. That's the thing, you just need to get the knee in. Once the knee is there, then, like he's not strong in this position, you know, like trying to close his elbow. You have your leg, like you're on top, you're like walking to open up space and he's just like trying to tuck his elbow in. So, you know, it's much easier for you than for your opponent. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go here, use the knee to open up some space. But the other technique, you go here and you kind of like you jog your hip. So for this one, you want the elbow up. Okay, so you see how I'm posing my leg more, like I'm trying to use my hip to bring his elbow up here. Why? Because I'm gonna let go the lapel. This hand's gonna go to the belt or the pants, anything, just, it'll be fast, it's a fast transition. Just wanna have more space, more balance. So I let go the lapel and I go here. Now what I do, I just back step. So I'm gonna back step, okay, to hug his arm. So if you back step, you're gonna end up, a lot of times you're gonna end up here, you're gonna see the arm, maybe he's hiding his hand, it's okay. You just need to go here, there's a little gap right here. You're gonna hug, and then eventually you're gonna slow work to break the grip, or oh, let's say he's connecting his hands, I'm not able to break the grip, that's fine. Just get your collar, start pulling, all back, get to the armbar position, break the grip, okay. So, sometimes it will be perfect, okay. The guy's not gonna be connecting his, hand, connecting his hands, you're gonna pull and you're gonna finish right there. Sometimes, He'll be fighting, he'll be you know, holding the, the lapel, holding his collar, holding his sleeve or something. No worries, just lock the arm bar, like hug the arm, control the arm, okay? Slowly, you're gonna work to break the grip and get the submission. So let's do one more time. Use the knee, open up some space, back step, scoop the arm, hug, collar. I like to come here and control the hips, grab the pants, or more. You can also go here, you get in this position. Now if you draw your knee, it's kind of more even. So you see how I open up some space, just like the arm bar, yeah? Open up space. Now you can draw up your knee, and you can swing your like over foot. You can walk them up out. You can get a, a nice straight arm bar here, wrist lock, or just a regular arm up out. Okay? Let's start with the arm bar, right? Let's go, one, two. If you're looking for some places